I'll never forget the day I met Munto. The day I touched my inner strength. Has returned! The Akuto! Our world will survive! The king has kept his promise. At last, King Munto has called Akuto back to the heavens, and he has saved his kingdom from the brink of destruction. Huh? <laughs> but Munto, this is not the future you saw before. Uh, the Akuto has... <laughs> What happened? I don't believe this. I cannot believe that this much Akuto has lingered in the underworld after all these eons. Yes, and it's basking in some form of light we've never seen before. But for us to take control of it now... Hmm, right. It's much too dangerous. Hmm. have changed, and I was beginning my second winter since I last saw King Munto. Yumemi, you're staring into space again. Hurry up and eat. You have to get it together since you'll be having entrance exams next semester. Fine. Dad, look, it's Montaro! Mm -hmm. Dad, you have to take me when you have time off! It looks kind of cold. Who cares if it's cold? You won't even feel it under all that fat. <laughs> Chikara, Daddy has muscles. Here, touch! Liar, it's fat! <laughs> <laughs> Again? It's been happening a lot lately. Uh, oh See, no. it's because of all that daydreaming. You should hurry. Don't want to be late. Right. You too, Chikara. Oh, I start my part-time job today, so I'll be home late. I want to see that report card. Okay. Get him, sir. Ugh. Shoes up! Take him. Lord Munto, 
We've located Holguz's command source, sir. It's this. Good work, Rui. Now get everyone out of here. Don't do anything crazy, sir. Should we pursue? Not yet. The troops need some rest. I think they were just sizing us up this time. Next time they won't hold anything back. The Holgu's defense force has retreated from the western airspace of the Magical Kingdom. The Holgu's infantry is now headed toward Shinan. Mobilize the Shinan army. A Holgu's battalion is only 300 kilometers away from the capital of Ond. I feared this would happen, just not so soon. I can't believe the king of the heavenly realm can lose his wits this quickly. It is only a matter of time before the three-way federation takes over the magical kingdom and then our whole world. Then we will have to hurry. Where is Guntarl's ship? It's traveling at an altitude of 28,000 meters and heading towards the magical kingdom. It's scheduled to arrive in 62 hours. Then send all the warships we have left to Guntarl immediately. Wait, what about the request for troops from Enda? Now is the time to look at the broader picture, my fellow elders. We've lost too much time. The heavens will be no more if we focus on just one then issue. Then why don't we send the ships to Enda? That won't be necessary. Ender's already conjuring up their own alliance as we speak. <gasps> Turn, Captain. Communication module three is down. Damage is at 78%. All hands, brace for impact. Damn the torpedoes, Izuku. Let's keep the pressure on the enemy. 30 degree turn to port. No! Just gotta hang on a little while longer. Rescue of Tech Division survivors complete! Drop it! I'm dropping Section 2 of this turn! Uh, uh, RNA, get over to the Tech Division and help them out! Sir! Micah, I don't want the last thing our enemy to see is our backside. Let me attack. No. Our mission is to buy some time for the National Army. I won't allow you to go off on your own. But, Micah... Don't be frightened. The time we have bought for our army here will save a lot of lives in Enda. Hang in there. <laughs> Approaching the sentries. Shield levels are down 20%. The enemy ships are on the move. They're leaving their mothership and heading this way. Should we engage them? Izuku, everything ready? All preparations are complete, sir. Good eye, June, come with me. We'll make a stand here. Micah... Leave it to me. Don't worry, I'll make it back. There are seven enemy ships approaching. They'll be here in five minutes. Ramuji, set our course for the Magical Kingdom. If we can ally with the Magical Kingdom's forces, we might be able to beat them. You heard the lady. Set the course for the Magical Kingdom. Hold the double. Munto, with the powers you called upon, the Heavenly Realm was saved from the Akuto Crisis. But now... This power spread fear in the people of heaven and stripped them of their wisdom. The light was too bright for those who had become accustomed to the weaker Akuto force. To control it, we need this girl's power. What is it? There's a powerful energy surge, 300 kilometers, dead ahead and approaching fast. Scream! Enlarge the image. Your Excellency, it's an outsider. Place the ship on red alert status. Prepare to fire at the outsider with everything we've got. Wait. Huh? That being is not an outsider.
They're here. Tell us again how you saved him. <laughs> we need to bolster our reinforcements on the west. Moontop, why are you confused? If you remain here, the future that opened up for us will close. The wave of Akuro powers that the girl unleashed is something that will disappear eventually. To capture the true future now, you need to go back and... That human girl from the Underworld believed in our future enough to cross the space-time continuum. At that moment, the Heavenly Realm's Akuto crisis was averted. She is no longer needed. King Munto. Lord Munto, sir. They're here. Our warriors are gathered and await your command. Right. All those able to fight will come with me. Not you. You stay here. Ryu Eli, don't worry. I'll end this crisis myself. Miss Riuelli. Munto already knows what he should do. The true future can only be opened up with a full cycle of the Akuto energy. But achieving this will be impossible without the power of that fateful human child from the underworld. But then why did Munto leave like that? Because he is afraid. He's afraid of the fragile future of that girl and her overwhelming power. I can still remember the time when her memory and heart flowed in and gave me the power to save my kingdom. I still feel its warmth flicker inside me. And now it looks to shatter as I go further away. But if I again reach out, would she? Listen up! Now that the Akuto has been unleashed, Let's show them how frightening the people who control this power really are! Yeah! Let's go! What business do you have with the magical kingdom, Guntaro? You know what I want. I want passage through time to the land of the past, to the underworld for that girl who's the source of the Akuto. And you really think the Outsiders will allow you to do that? The Outsiders? You can't fool me, Goss. I know what tragedy your body is trying to portray. A long time ago, the people of the Heavenly Realm used the primordial fire as a reason to stop meddling with the past. They put a guard on the door of time. The Timekeeper was the only one who had more power than those in Heaven. And his descendant is you, the Outsider. To those who come too near the edge of time, you cast a powerful spell on them, even if they happen to be the King of the Heavenly Realm. And yet you allowed Munto to pass through unharmed. Why is that? Was the mighty Outsider frightened of someone from the Magical Kingdom? No. It's because you knew that Munto's action was the only thing that would reverse the crisis in the heavens. But if the Gatekeeper fails at his task and is thrust into danger, then the failsafe spell that was cast all those eons ago is activated. Your body will wither and your power will ebb. You are no longer an outsider. Don't worry, we're not going to make the same mistakes that Munto did. We'll answer your prayers and give eternal power to the Heavenly Realm. You know so much about me, don't you, Kuntaro? So then why have you appeared before me at this time? Do you intend to oppose me? Or are you going to lend me your powers and put an end to this crisis? Now that I'm released from my duties as an outsider, I am a servant to no one. Hmm. Very well. So the outsider who threw himself away for the sake of an eternal future of heaven is going to stop me? Perhaps you believe someone from the magical kingdom who can't even capture a coup. Make no mistake, I know what I'm doing. But why? When I can intervene and find this strange human child, take her Akuto and quash the crisis, I couldn't care less about your Akuto. The spell you were under has driven you mad. He doesn't have the power of an outsider anymore. Get rid of him. Battleships, fire at once!
I guess I alone can't stop them. Battleship Kansa destroyed! Blue Day destroyed. Initiating retreat. The battleships could not conclude their mission, sir. Only a portion of the flagship was damaged. We can still fly. Your Excellency, we'll have to proceed using the flagship alone. No matter. We don't have time to wait for support. Full ahead. Such ugliness. Enda has broken off from the Alliance, and their queen, Raluko, has died fighting. Now Guridori, the king of Holgus. Even Raymon, the king of Und, they fight like madmen. In the last thousand years, until the depletion of Akuto, the people joined together and gained the knowledge to thrive. As long as we have the power, we will be the masters of our domain, they cried. That is because people believe this power would help the heavens. But now, we are afraid of that power, and we're oppressed by it. We're detecting an extremely high Akuto energy force around the Shine and Castle area. And now Hout, the King of Shinen. The swirls of chaos are spreading. Our gathered intelligence has gained us no power. All we can do is entrust Kintar with everything. Only 1,200 kilometers to the edge of the Magical Kingdom. We'll avoid this fracas and go down to the underworld. Lowering the altitude. Preparing to time warp. Ready. First stage complete. Second stage complete. Hurry with the preparations for Talons 1 through 7. We're now 1,120 kilometers to the Magical Kingdom, sir. The Hoku's invaders have landed in the kingdom! Mobilize the infantry! Let's show them we're not licked yet! Give them hell, soldiers! So you're Muto. <laughs> you seem a little scrawny to be a king, don't you think? You will not address me with that tone, peasant. You will call me Lord Muto. You're not fit to occupy heaven. You die here! Well, that was uncalled for. One of Raluko's subordinates. Lord Munto, are you all right? Uh. Huh? You're from the Alliance. I'm Laika from Enda. Why don't we put aside our differences and join forces? Our true enemy is one and the same, and it looks to be a tough fight either way. Thank you for saving the heavenly realm! But have you thought about what you want to do with it? Lord Muto! Muto!
What the hell do you want this time? Let me handle this from here. You should be elsewhere and you know it. Yeah, I suppose I always have. No! <laughs> Let me see your dream. This was a year filled with earthquakes and bizarrely extreme weather. And it's been predicted that this winter will be even colder than previous years. So take precautions Yo. and make sure you do not catch a cold. But try not to stay indoors too much. No Enjoy talking, Ichiko. You call those grades, Waranko? What's the matter with you? Are you in kindergarten? Oh, so that's why it's Montaro Park. Right, the big Christmas celebration. Ichiko, you should come. I don't know. It's an amusement park. They're fun, hence the name. Next semester, we probably won't have time for this kind of thing. How about it? Okay, I'll go. I'll bring you Mammy and Suzume, too. You let them know, and we'll see you there, okay? No problem. I wonder if I huh? should go. Takashi, how unlike you. Well, yeah. I know you guys are gonna start your part-time jobs over at the shrine today. But, you know, it's always so dead during Christmas. You're so lucky that you've actually got some free time. What? It's not like I have nothing better to do. I'm busy, but I really want to take you Mammy. You mean... Uh, the space cadet? Yeah, she's always staring off into the sky ever since the floating island incident. The floating island? You mean from last year? Well, duh. What else would I mean? I saw it too, you know. But you Memmies really got to let this go. Oh, that was definitely a mirage. At least that's what they said on the news. Yeah, I know everyone else justified it like that, but either way, it doesn't matter. This is becoming a bad situation. You Memmies got to forget that stuff and come back down to Earth. And I think tomorrow's outing is going to be a good time to do just that. Uh -huh. If you're coming too, then you can help me out, okay? Uh -huh. Listen, mister, Christmas is the season of giving, so give! Okay, well, but... You don't want us to flake out on our part-time jobs, <gasps> right? <laughs> I'm counting on you, Takashi. You know something, Ichiko? When it comes to you, Memi, you've become a completely different person. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course. I mean, we're friends. It's my duty to meddle in her affairs, whether she likes it or not. That was a big one. This place isn't gonna collapse, is it? I think it'll be okay. I mean, it's been here forever. Yeah, well, that's why I'm so worried. Apparently, the shrine is built on top of a deep rock bed. That's why I think that everything's okay. Did you hear that from Takashi? Mm-hmm. What a geek. Um, you mammy, huh? Ichiko, can you guys untie this thing for me? Hey, what did you do, Suzume? You've knotted this all wrong. Didn't I show you how? Oh. All right, pay attention this time. <sighs> There's nobody here. Hey, it's Christmas, so what are you gonna do? It's tough when there's so many gods. I don't think that's the only reason why people don't come pray here. I mean, don't you think this place is so divinely unsettling? I personally have only heard some weird rumors, but... Rumors? Like people have seen spirits and some people have been chased by this creepy light. Stop! You're scaring me! <laughs> Maybe they'll come and get us next, huh? <laughs> <sighs> Yumemi! 
You were daydreaming about... Mm -mm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Still, I wonder what the island and that red guy actually were. Are we crazy? Do you mean Munto? Oh, right, Munto. He exists above our heads up in his magical kingdom. I'd love to go see it! Well, you can't go, not even if you could fly. If that's the future, or like a different world or something, there's a wall between us that you can't climb even if you try. We can't go there, so just forget it, okay? Mm. Huh? You met me, huh? again? <gasps> oh, sorry. Uh, hmm? hmm? Excuse me. Huh? I have an errand to run, so could one of you keep an eye on this fire for me? Uh, sure. I'll be right back. I'll take care of it. Share your strength with me, Yumemi. The world is on the brink of destruction. In order to reverse this, I need your strength. If you don't help me, then my world in the heavens and the world you live in will be destroyed. world. Is what? It's not over. What do we do? This is big. We have to help him. You, Memi, just calm down. <laughs> Miss Ichiko, what's going on? Takashi, what the hell is this rock? What? The rock? You, Memi, Ichiko. Will you be okay getting home alone? Yeah, I'm fine now. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you later. Ichiko, it's okay. Don't worry about you, Mammy. Because we're always with her, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You still not feeling well, you mammy? Huh. Sis isn't eating? I'll bring her up something to eat later, okay? I'm supposed to do. Mun 
Why did he have to go and do that? Gintaro, how? Yumemi, how are you feeling? Better? Um... Do you want to eat? Mom? What is it, dear? It's... it's nothing. Uh. Our greatest dream has been born this day. He is our future. Munto, the child that will bring order and complete the cycle of life. Father! Father! Munto, we must now become part of the Akuto, as that is the law. Don't be sad, Munto. We'll become Akuto, and we'll always be by your side. Why did the king and queen give birth to a child when the heavens are in the midst of a crisis, draining our Akuto force when they know ancient law forbids it? You are a cursed child. Munto, you carry the blood of your parents that predicted the coming of this Akuto crisis, and now you have swallowed their life, and at such a perilous time when your own land is about to fall into danger. From this point on, our people are no longer subjects of the magical kingdom. Idiots. You carve up the country in an effort to rectify the Akuto problem. What's that going to do? The death of the people of heaven is not a destiny that can be avoided. It's not something you can control on your own. I fear the worst. Even I cannot extract the light from the future. Munto, the heavens are... Don't give up. I will find the path for us all. If there is anyone who can do that, it must be you, child. Then I shall become your eyes. <sighs> These are Munto's memories. Yumemi! Yumemi, Ichiko's on the phone for you. Hmm? How is everything? Better? Yeah. I got worried since you wouldn't answer your cell. So, you think you can make it tomorrow? You, Mammy? Uh huh? I'm sorry. Why? Do you remember when we were little? I just had to see your sky. I needed to. So, I made you. So, where is it? Look, over there. I don't see anything, no fair. How come only you can see it? I want to see it too. Maybe we could see it if we get closer. Closer? Hmm. Ah, somewhere up high. Oh, right. Let's go up on the roof. Out of frustration, I cried. Since that day, you always held an umbrella, even on sunny days. It's because I hurt you. I finally saw that sky last summer, the sky I've always, always wanted to see. The same sky that you see, floating islands and everything. 
Even though it disappeared so quickly, I cried because I was so happy. But this is what I thought afterwards. The world you see is too far away. It's not somewhere we can go together. And no matter how much you think about that world, you'll never be happy because you can't go there. Ichigo. Listen, you mammy. What I want to say is that I will always be here for you, no matter what. I promise. You understand, right, you mammy? You can't really go there. So let's stay together here, you mammy. All right? Thanks, Ichiko. But I'm sorry. I I don't really understand it myself either. You mammy. I just I don't know what I'm supposed to do, Ichiko. I, I've been seeing and hearing so many different things since then. This is it's crazy, right? I keep getting all mixed up. No, that's not it. I just... Ichigo, help me. What's going on, Ichiko? Is it a robber? <laughs> Which way did he go? Where is he? Idiot! <laughs> huh? Idiot? What idiot? Did you just call me an idiot? Why am I an idiot? Hey, Ichiko! <laughs> hey, Take! Uh, I heard oh, screaming. Oh, dear, is Ichiko is okay? okay? What's what going on? Did you need to call the police? I heard screaming. I just happened? don't understand. I heard okay? okay? screaming, and then I just... I was walking around the corner to get the groceries. Suzume's kind of got a thing for Montaro, doesn't she? I can't believe Kazuya actually got accepted into prep school with that hanging around him all year. Oh, you're talking about Takamori, aren't you? He was kind of a bad seed, but his grades were always the top in the class, so it was only natural that he passed the exams and got accepted. And unlike you, he's cute, he can fight, and he's smart. Plus, his parents are absolutely loaded. Hey! Can you guys take a picture? <laughs> well, at least I'm not dating Suzume. What did you say? Uh, uh yeah, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> what do you think? Should we get into? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us in too, Takashi. Okay. How about this? Okay. Looking good. Everyone looks so cute. Okay, I'm taking it. Say cheese. Boom. cheese! Ichiko? Yeah? Uh, about yesterday. You know that rock or the object of worship thing? I was intrigued by it since then, so I did some research, and I looked through some old books. Once, my grandpa told me that legend has it that rock fell to earth from the sky. You think, perhaps, this is what you many sees? Okay, stop. What? Is there any credibility to this old story? Um, well, now that you mention Just it... Just drop I, uh, it, and don't tell you Yumemi about this. Uh, okay. Thanks! Yeah! My very own Montaro! <laughs> hey, Susume! What are you doing? Are you okay? Are you hurt or anything? Uh, oh! Montaro flew away! There he goes! I'll go get you a new one, okay? You are such a klutz, Suzume. You have got to get it together. 
Oh no, look at that. You've totally messed up your clothes. Wow! Did you make this all on your own? I can be girly when I need to be. It looks delicious. Thanks, I made a lot so we can all share. So dig in, everybody. Well, this is unexpected. I can't believe you know how to cook. But I'll reserve final judgment until I taste a little... Taste this, you jerk. Okay, let's eat. Thanks for the food. Hey, give me some, Ichiko. Me too. If Suzume doesn't eat it all... Mm. Mm, it's so good. Eat as much as you want. Ichiko, hmm? thanks a lot for everything. Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh, Takashi, would you like to sample my lunch as long as you behave yourself? I guess I can give it a shot. Huh? You Memi? You Memi? You Memi! There goes You Memi again. I can't believe Ichiko puts up with those two like that. Oh. What is this? Uh, what? You Memi, will you get a hold of yourself? There's nothing up there. Ichigo, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Stop it! I won't let you! I have to go. I just... I can't run away. You can! Running away is okay! Escape and be happy! Nothing's gonna happen! Just forget about it! No, you Yumemi, you're staying here, damn it! We should let her go, Ichigo. Huh? What are you saying, Suzume? You many needs us. And then we can all play together again. Like we did when we were younger. You, me, and you Memi. Huh? What's wrong, you guys? Is you Memi okay? Huh? huh? You Memi. Huh? Hey, hey, you Memi, are you okay? They're going to destroy the entire town just to get to her. If they do, then her heart will be damaged and she'll never pierce the wall of time again, and both of our worlds will go up in flames! Damn you, Gunta! I've spotted King Munto in the underworld. He's attacking Talon number one, sir. What should we do, your highness? Don't worry. He can't break my talons now. Lift us higher. Immediately. Lieutenant, bring us up!
Stay away. Munto, it's me. Leave me alone. But if things are left as is... The Akuto returned to heaven. I don't need you anymore. <sighs> Return to your world now, human. I'll take care of this on my own. Liar! <sighs> I know that's not true because I can see that the future's in danger. And that you're suffering out here. Have you forgotten? The last time I saw you, Munto, you said to me that you needed my strength. You said that both our worlds will end without my help. You told me I could do it! <sighs> Please, I want to help you. I have to save Ichiko and Suzume. So please, Munto! Munto! Just answer me! Yumemi! Don't do it, Yumemi! Please come back here! This is enough! Don't take another step! Ichiko... I... No! I'll be okay. I promise I'll come back. Come back? Come back from where? You're not seriously... If I don't go, then the future will disappear. Oh, you can't do this on your own! I know, but... That summer, Suzume taught me that if I would only have some courage, the future would open up. Now I need to protect the future for both of you. You, Memi, we can all protect it together. So for now, please. Later on, when I get back, the three of us should all have fun together, okay, Ichiko? Uh-huh. I want to go shopping once we get our paychecks. I found uh -huh. this store that sells cute t-shirts and I want to check it out. I've been meaning to tell you, Ichiko. You come with me, mm. right? You, Memi. Tell me why. It's always like this. You staring up at the sky, running away from here. I can't go there with you. I can't protect you there. Ichiko. If you have courage, then the future will open up, huh? I guess this time, I'm the one who's trusting you, Yumemi. Munto. Let's go, Yumemi. Powers. Our primary target, the Akuto source, has appeared! It's right underneath us! All talents are destroyed! There's heavy damage to the flagship! Our power to move has been cut by half! Our plan has failed! Your Highness, what should we do? This is... this is that girl's power. Thank God. Everyone's safe now. 
No, not yet. We must go and open up the future together. Hang on tight. Keep going.